I'll run for office someday and experience it. <laughs> not now. See, it just seems like it. Right? <laughs> um, and I want to thank you, too. It, it's, uh, it's just been a wonderful joy for me um, to represent you for much of the last 20 years. This is an amazing area. I, I just feel so gift, gifted to represent you, to raise a family, to have a business in this um, really blessed place. I uh, was asked to run. Um, but uh, when Ellen Tauscher called me and said that she was going to take this appointment or pursue this appointment, she said to me uh, that one of the reasons she felt good about the change in her life was that I would replace her. And I'm frankly humbled by that coming from Ellen. George Miller's been a dear friend for all of the time I've been here. Um, he was a customer, sometimes complained at the restaurant. <laughs> but George is a wonderful friend, and to be able to go back there and work with him is something special. Tom Torlickson actually not only endorsed me, he declared my candidacy in a press release when he did endorse me. Uh, so I'm proud of those endorsements. If you go to our website, you'll see that we're endorsed by people from this district, um, both elected and non-elected people. And lastly, uh, just, I was fortunate enough to go back to President Obama's inauguration, and I, too, was an early endorser. And you couldn't help um, on that day, my dad's very gnarly, to going and visiting him and then walking at the mall and sharing that amazing experience and realizing once again, after the despair and frustration of the Bush administration, that what Jefferson once said about America is still true, that we are the last best hope for humankind. And if I can be part of that, that's a joy. John Adams once said that our obligations to this country only end with our life. And that's the way I feel about my public service.